Hey, welcome back to another RC Worst video. Today we're going to be taking you through some winter tips to uh, help you keep your system from freezing as well as how to address something if it does freeze. So let's jump into it. It's a little chilly out here, so let's go inside. <music> Okay, so for the first part of this video, we're gonna talk about preventing the freeze. So um, obviously it's better to prevent the freeze up from happening than having to deal with thawing it out later. So one of the first things that you can do when the weather starts to get really chilly and you're concerned about the lines in your house freezing is just run a little bit of water. By keeping a small stream of water flowing, it can really help to prevent those lines from freezing up. Okay, so here we are out in the shop, uh, and what I wanted to show you out here is the importance of pipe insulation. So actually on the other side of this wall uh, is the outside. So this wall here gets particularly cold. And fortunately, the shop that we have is heated and insulated, so we don't have much to worry about. But if your circumstances were different, applying some pipe insulation, like the wraparound foam type of pipe insulation, is gonna really help these pipes uh, to prevent them from freezing. One tool that can be very useful for preventing freezes altogether is just a small space heater. So if you've got a jet pump or you've got a small pump house or utility closet that may not be heated very well or not heated at all, um, having a small space heater like this can actually supply just enough heat efficiently to keep everything from freezing. Now one thing that I recommend if you use a space heater like this is set it up with a plug-in type thermostat that's going to be able to turn the space heater on and off based on the ambient temperature around it. That's going to save you a lot of money in the long run and allow you to really set that temperature close to the freezing level so that you're minimizing your energy costs and so forth when you're using the space heater. So another very effective method that can be used in gutters, which is what we've got here, as well as winterizing your piping um, or pump, well not really winterizing, but preventing it from freezing, is a heat line. Uh, so what we've got here is just a basic heat line that's running up a gutter just right next to me and across um, to keep that gutter from freezing and, and keep those icicles from forming and, and all the bad stuff that goes along with that. But when it comes to pumps and pipes, there's tons of heat lines available on the market and unfortunately I didn't have one in the warehouse to show you today but I did have this one plugged out out here um, and it's kind of cool you can see everywhere that this heat line is there's no snow because that heat line is heated up and melted away all the snow and now if I grab the heat line I can feel that it's probably at least a good 60 65 degrees it's quite warm to the touch so a very effective way to do it but not the most energy efficient you want to find one of those heat lines that's either going to be temperature activated and isn't on all the time or have some other means of sensing the temperature and turning the heat line on you can spend an arm and a leg on paying for electricity for these if they're on full bore all the time so keep that in mind another great tip to prevent your system from freezing is if you have a pump basin or a septic tank or a water and cistern uh, that's underground that you may have problems with freezing uh, then using a lid like this lid right here this lid actually has insulation this is a two inch two inch uh, hard foam insulation and it will increase the resistance um, of this system actually freezing up if that's applied and we also have these in a four inch insulation but since that's just standard off the shelf foam in a pinch it wouldn't be too challenging to make your own now if you don't want to do that we do have these for sale you're more than welcome to pick one up Okay, so we've talked about frost prevention, and now let's go ahead and talk about what happens when the lines actually freeze. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go around the house and open up all of the under sink cabinets that you have in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, and then go ahead and crank the heat way on up in the house and start getting some of that heat flowing underneath these areas. This is also a useful place to deploy one of those space heaters if you have one available to you to help ac accelerate the rate that this thing's gonna thaw out. All right, so I mentioned heat. I've got here just a couple of different tools that may come in handy to you. Uh, I've got a heat gun here, and then I've got a propane torch in the other hand. Uh, the handy thing about these is obviously these can produce an immense amount of heat, and they can really speed up the unthawing time. But keep in mind that a heat gun and a torch produce so much heat that if you're doing this inside, you could cause a fire. So a hair dryer, just a regular run-of-the-mill hair dryer, should work pretty well for you for most of your interior thawing um, and your exterior thawing. But if you know what you're doing and you know how to be safe about it, a propane torch and a heat gun can really speed things up. 
Okay, so now that we've covered all those tips, just one last thing before we go. Uh, when you are working on unthawing a line, you wanna make sure that you start from the source and work your way to the end of the line or the, the sink or drain or whatever. Um, and, and the reason being is you're gonna have the water pressure on this side and working your way to the end, that water pressure is gonna kinda help push those blockages and free those blockages as it goes and, and kinda help it speed up the process. Obviously, if you were to start from the other end and start thawing it out, it's just gonna have to drain out or what have you and you're not gonna get any assistance from the part of the line that's fully blocked that's still frozen. So keep that in mind while you're working through these types of problems. And if you ever have any questions or need to get yourself a heat line or heat tape or any of those products, we do carry those here at RC Wars. So feel free to give us a call and we're happy to lend a hand. All right, so that's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content. We'll catch you next time.